Welcome back, folks. Das here, continuing our experiment, adding a little flair to the Starbase daily summaries. I personally read all the feedback y'all took time out of your day to share on the last video, so we made a couple changes. We hope we'll be able to offer the best of both worlds, so stick around to the end for a brief discussion. For now, sit back and enjoy scenes from Starbase, August 18th and 19th of 2024. Now, it says Module 7 there, but that's not actually Module 7. It's already been dropped off. And that is the transport sort of base headed back to the production site. It still had the Module 7 sign on it. Looks like we need to get out here and level this camera a bit. Uh, the road does not go downhill here. And that office building blocking some of our views back towards the uh, mega and high bays. Looks cool, though. And here's the stand for Module 8. Following the same course, dodging the historical marker signs, and our camera there. I guess they need to make room for more things out there where they're stacking those tower modules. Tower segments? Tower parts? What do y'all prefer? Out here we caught some video of new tanks arriving at the port. Ships moving in time lapse are always funny. They drift a lot more than you think. The little boat going out there is the pilot boat carrying the local navigation expert who will guide the ship in to the port of Brownsville there. See three tanks on the front of that big ship going past the jetty. I think somebody's fishing. There's the view from the Margaritaville Hotel where we were. I watch most of the launches from up on the roof. There's that aerostat. It's uh, operated by, what do you want to say, Border Patrol. It's like a camera and sensing platform that watches the border from a safe distance. That's an entire other story. Now we've got Tower Module 9 rolling out from the assembly yard back at what they call the Sanchez site. And this is the one that actually has the cable pulleys on it. So it's, it's got that weird balcony on it. The cable system that raises and lowers the chopsticks hangs out over the uh, OLM side of the tower with that little balcony. I feel like we should get out of the way, but the road curves here, so we're good. <laughs> Let's go make it over that sign. One day we need to do a video on the Palmetto Pilings. That's that uh, historical marker there. You can actually see the pulleys are already in there on the left-hand side of the screen. There you can see that rusty transport base versus the uh, rest of the tower module. Barely clear in that side. Over here, the big yellow crane, that CC 8800-1, is partially lowered. And back over at Massey's test site, we see some venting. We see venting on occasion over at Massey's as they maintain temperatures and pressures in tanks and sometimes load things off the trucks. That there is tank 16, test tank 16, which was getting lifted up onto the test stand. Into the test stand, really. Mary out there catching that for us. Just swinging back and forth while they get it aligned. You like those work platforms around it so they can safely access different levels. Sort of like you see in the uh, VAB over at NASA. Not nearly as many levels though. Here goes that massive crane going back up again. Remember, it got repaired. It had a, a bit of a problem with some of the braces, struts, and they had to 
remove some of them. And I'm just going to go out there and level all these cameras. Could be leveled in post, I guess. You just don't understand how big that crane is, y'all. This is a big one. We saw a ton of work happening over on the chopsticks. Looks like they were uh, reinforcing some of the welds. You can see those, they almost look like stitches that they've installed to increase, I think, the weld surface area. So looks like they had some concerns or some findings that the original construction of those chopsticks might not be sufficient for the catch. Maybe they're just adding a little bit of uh, extra margin here by reinforcing these things. One of the rules for my commentary is I don't actually watch the video before I do this. So what you hear are my live reactions, like recorded reactions. The first time I'm reacting to some of this stuff, but I have Starbase Live on the TVs basically all over my house. I wake up in the morning and my wife already has it on the TV going before I'm even up. I appreciate her. No do-overs either. Like, this is just a single take. <laughs> Here you see the crews working at a stabilizer point. Remember, these are the points that sort of drop down uh, next to the ship. And booster? In any event, um, they're working on some of There's a lot of camera systems there that I'm interested in. You can actually see it moving a little bit on the right-hand side of your screen as they continue those uh, weld reinforcements. And a bunch of repair work up on the ship QD arm. Remember, this is the quick disconnect arm way up the tower that provides the propellants to the starship sitting on top of the booster. So a little tough to get context here, but that's way up in the air. I know I'm doing more commentary this time, and I'm not just reading the screen labels. Some scaffolding going up on the SQD ship quick disconnect arm. But that was one of your bits of feedback. Don't just read the labels, add a little bit more. And if you are one of the, about 20% of the people who said they enjoyed the ambient more than the uh, commentary, I'm doing a little bit more commentary because we hope to be able to provide both to you. I actually have a meeting with our YouTube rep to see if we can get a feature turned on that would allow the commentary track to be optional for you. Apparently we had tested that in the past, but it is no longer an option on our channel. And we're hoping we can get that turned back on. That way, if you're watching these, you could choose if you just wanted the pure ambient audio track or if you wanted the value add NSF staff commentary. Unprepared, uncrypted, unscripted. Off the cuff, no reduce. There's the monolithic star factory building. Looks really cool at night. I think some people watch the videos for this sort of, at least show it to your kids. Your kids like dump trucks and front loaders. Back over to Ship 31's tile replacement. You can see now there's more of those nose cone tiles that have been replaced. And there you have it. Like I mentioned, we're gonna see if we can't do both of these for you, uh, provide an optional commentary track. But for now, until we do, we're actually gonna upload the audio only, the ambient audio only for members as a member video. Because most of the people who said that they liked the ambient audio was uh, were members. So if you are a member, you can watch that clean track on the members feed. And we'll continue putting this one to public in the end, we're hoping that we'll be able to put them both in a single video and allow you to decide if you want the commentary or not. But I've already run out past the end of this video here, so I'll go ahead and leave you to it, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks again for all the good feedback, and thanks to Mary and Jack and the SBL operators for capturing all of those scenes from Starbase.